Today's recipe is dedicated to everybody. Those who have already found a very reliable recipe and those who are still looking for it. This is my version, and here it has already met with some success, so I wanted to share it with you too. Come on, let's make roast meatloaf. Let's start by softening some crumb. I've already removed the crust and let it dry and then blend it to make breadcrumbs. Oh, you want to add some herbs or spices to make it even tastier. I'll pour it in a bowl and then soak it in milk, which obviously you can replace with water. Now I'll pinch it a little with my fingers to help absorption. Good, I'll set aside and take care of the meat. Let's start with the sausage. First of all, I have to decase it. I crush it with the back of a blade and then put it in a bowl. Meatloaf started off as a leftover recipe. In fact, in the old days, leftover beef stew would be cut into chunks or fine pieces and mixed with other ingredients in order to create a nicer and tastier dish. There are two types of meat in my meatloaf, pork and ground beef. Now let's add the rest of the ingredients. Let's start with the grated pecorino cheese. Then the crumb, which in the meantime has softened well. Before adding it, squeeze it well. Let's continue with the eggs. Flavor with nutmeg. A nice pinch of salt. And then a pinch of pepper. And finally, flavor with thyme. Now let's get our hands dirty, because we have to hand mix it. If your mixture is too dry, just add a few drops of milk. It should be too soft instead. You can add more cheese or breadcrumbs, but be careful, because it might dry too much. And having kneaded it for a long time to bind all the ingredients, I'm now ready to transfer the dough directly onto a sheet of baking paper. Now with the baking paper, or even just with your hands, shape the loaf. Here it is. I can brush it with oil, then also the sides. I put it aside and take care of the side dish. I chose some potatoes. This variety has red skin and yellow flesh, but you can also choose any seasonal vegetables you prefer. I've already washed and dried them, and I'll cut them in half and throw them into a bowl. I can add the shallot that I've already cleaned and cut into eighths. Then I add hand-torn sage. And then thyme leaves of its stem. Season with salt, pepper, finally a drop of oil. Let's mix everything. A drizzle of oil in the pan and then I can throw the vegetables in. Let's paste them out to make room for the meatloaf. And then place it in the pan. And finally we roast our meatloaf in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 18-90 minutes. Here we go. The roast meatloaf will be an ace up your sleeve for a festive occasion. Potatoes are the ideal side for this dish. Did this recipe make you hungry? Cook it yourself and then let me know.